What's good, everybody? Welcome back again. Like I promised you guys, a part of our tech series as we gear up for the track for 2022. We've been doing a lot of little things that I hope will keep the car running tip top coming into the race season. We did go hard in the paint last year, and this year we're gonna come a little bit harder. Today, I'm taking that leap. We're putting in the Spoon Sports valve cover. I've been wanting to do this for a minute. Thanks to my boy Lems, hooked me up with his. He unfortunately parted out his Type R. It's a Spoon Sports catalog built. If you haven't seen his car, go look him up on Instagram. I'll link him in the comments below. We have a couple other parts that we're gonna keep adding to the car. And we're also gonna do a nice little maintenance update, which those will be in other videos. I just wanna give you guys a heads up. Yeah, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for us. It does help us out. I do appreciate all the questions you guys send me on IG and on YouTube. I try and answer back as much as possible, as well as the boys over here at VCD. They try and get back to your questions lickety split. But again, we're going to move into the install here. How long should this take? This job is probably going to take for the average Joe anywhere between an hour to two hours. Difficulty, I'm going to say probably like a, an eight. Most likely it's gonna be like a five, but the extra three is gonna be frustration. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you're gonna see why. But the valve cover, as you can see, we're gonna start off first is gonna be just taking these little tens off right here. I've already done it, so boom, you know, just be careful, don't break it. Since this was already a part two to a previous video that we were shooting, we already removed the intake, so that's another big part because we are gonna have to remove this little bad boy right here, as you can see. You do have a little bit of a weird little clamp here that Honda makes. And to put this back, we are gonna have to make a little small little slit here, which is, you know, not big of a deal, but as long as you have the right tools, you should- Like a Dremel, right? Yeah, we're gonna use a little small Dremel to make a little, little insertion, like, that's it. And then we're gonna better use our little- If not, you can go to Honda and buy it, but it costs, I, I heard it costs like 60 bucks or something, yeah, right? Yeah, this little piece with the two little things, is, it's actually about $95. Whew, you for see this that? piece of plastic, so. And you cannot buy the one for the Accord and put it on your Type R anymore because they caught on, guys. They caught on. Next, remove the Spoon Sports oil cap. Cool. Make sure if you do have a Spoon Sports oil cap or any other oil cap, they have that little washer, little rubber washer that you got right there. Make sure you remove that because sometimes that damn thing sticks to it. And uh, yeah, hey. If you try and put that back on without it, you're gonna have one of two things happen. You're gonna have an oil leak or two, the cap's gonna just just rumble right off and you're gonna lose pretty much all your oil. All right, boys, this is the Spoon Sports valve cover. If you've never seen one, this is it. Truth be told, we did give it a touch up. It, when we bought it, we bought this one used and it had some scratches and some chips from the prior administration who owned it. Nothing wrong with it, it's just things come off. And Spoon Sports uh, also, like around these little areas, they paint over them as you can tell. So when you put in your, your bolts, the paint will crack and it's almost like a one-time use, huh? Like if you, if you go to take them off, the paint starts to crack. And that's what happened to us. So we had the paint color match. Please, Spoon, don't kill me. But we wanted to make sure we're putting on a nice, pristine product on the car. So we went ahead and gave it a kiss of some new, fresh temperature paint. And everything looks good. But this is a 100% Spoon Sports valve cover, which truth be told, there really isn't anything different than the paint. That's it. It does not come with a spoon val uh, badge or anything like that. It doesn't say Spoon Sports anywhere on it. It's basically the spoon yellow, or if you get the crinkle red one, that's the only difference. You're not doing, I mean, you're not getting any special anything minus the paint and the, the fact that it's a Spoon Sports valve cover because it comes from Spoon. Looks nice and shiny thanks to the trusty labor assistant who did the work who, oh yeah. Hey, where is that for? Freaking taking the day off. Always slacking off. You know, he gets paid now and now he's never here. But when he was free, he was always here. I don't understand that one, Lewis. I mean, it's me, you know? No, he's uh, just taking a long overdue vacation. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and install this. When you buy it new from Spoon, it does come with a brand new uh, head gas, I mean, a valve cover gasket. 
which we already bought. And we also bought some Honda Bond because I'll show you where you're gonna need to put that on there. Okay, this is the little bit of modification Lewis is gonna do. Remember, always wear your safety equipment and your goggles. So that way, I'm a big boy. you don't mess yourself up. I'm a big boy, I can do it. <laughs> just start squinting. Yeah, like, just go like this. <laughs> Small slit. So yeah, he made the little notch and that's just so you can stick a flathead screwdriver and you can loosen it up and then it comes out and that's that. There are some dudes that they just break it and then that's yeah. it. So the OEM one, so you see it has like this little, little silver part in the middle. It actually has a nut, but I think the nut's like a four or a three mil socket, so it's very tiny. And then when you're done tightening, you're supposed to snap it off so it doesn't get loosened. But since we are gonna be removing the valve cover, and I don't think Albert wants to spend an additional like 80 bucks for a piece of plastic. Um, yeah, this is how we kind of get away with it. We learned this the hard way with, uh, with the Accord. Definitely, uh, I, had a, I had a just get a new one. So yeah, just make it look slick. Use the, the flathead and you can reuse it, you know? And look at that. Look at the oil. Whoa, no. That's, what is, is it? That's from by. the valve cover. That's blow by, right? So, My bad. This is when we, we're gonna Hopefully, I'm going to try to convince them we can get a dual catch can system from Radium. Hopefully, it's in the future. Shout out, Radium. <laughs> you want to join, too. Hopefully. So, hopefully, we can do a dual catch can system. We can attach one, a beautiful one right here and a beautiful one back there. And then we can have everything Radium. But as you can see, he this is... To, he wants me to do flex fuel, which I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, cheater gas. <laughs> yeah, I call it cheater gas. No offense to all of you guys that go flex fuel. We've gone ahead and removed the inlet pipe. As you can tell... What are these here? Tens? Yeah, everything's a ten. Ten, 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 ten. We've gone ahead and taken that. It's exposed all the bolts to the valve cover, and these are also tens, right? Yeah. You have the stock one, you'll be fine. And just because the PR one kind of curves a little bit more towards the valve cover, we just removed it. I mean, right now he's just taking off the screws that hold the uh, what is this? Like a little wiring harness? Yeah, I just want to make room so we can pop this bad boy up. And again, if you're faint of heart of doing this, I always tell you guys, if you don't have the right tools, if you don't have the right knowledge, we're doing these videos for you guys that want to learn to do it, shoot it. I hate it. I hate it. This car, again, <laughs> you've noticed that, right? Again, this car is notorious for eating <laughs> sockets. Jesus. <laughs> you, can't, you can't make that up. I'm glad you guys caught that on, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm glad we caught this on camera because the last time, the last time two of them fell in, remember, remember we did the video? Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but anyways, back to what I was saying, guys. If you're faint of heart, you, you really don't have the knowledge, watch this video and if you feel you can do it, shoot it. If not, like I said, if you're in the SoCal area or even in like down south or up north and you want to come and talk to lewis hit up lewis if not there's plenty of other people that can do this and that can help you with doing this install it's not that hard for people like lewis that know how to do it if it was me doing it i know i can do it but i think i'm going to be a little bit more nervous because i don't want any oil leaks i don't want any type of issues that later can cause a problem to the car making a mess and whatnot did you get it <laughs> I'm telling you, man. There it is. You hear it? Boom! Oh, we can master this over here. Right? <laughs> we already know. We already know all the secret spots of where the where the where, where the uh, sockets can though, fall. It, it always happens, but you know, it, it never used to happen until we started recording. <laughs> For real, 100. percent Okay, so now Lewis is. Uh, I'm just trying doing? to clear up basically the wiring harness. So there is going to be a couple plugs like um, these back ones. I, I'm just going to loosen them up get rid of some of the holding bolts back here. We just don't want anything to get in the way when we remove this thing because we don't want to pull wires and we don't want to damage the wiring harness any type of way. But just be very careful when you disconnecting. Also when we're putting it back on, right? Cause it has yeah. the Honda bond. You don't want anything to kind of yeah, exactly. get in the way. You don't want to like actually you want a clean shot out and a clean shot in, yeah, so basically. On the inlet pipe, I did remove one of the cam sensors, which is on this side. And then I did remove the actual uh, wastegate. We don't 
be very careful with your wastegate. I mean, you could have a lot of problems. So just make sure you actually hear the click and then you remove slowly because you don't want to pull a cable because without that, your turbos are going to be useless useless i mean and you're gonna have a pretty fun story explaining to you yourself how did you uh, <laughs> how did you ruin it but yeah so then these are sometimes kind of a hassle so what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna just loosen all of them pull it out a little bit and then these are all tens again yeah mostly everything's gonna be a 10 um in the valkyrie area so i'm going to remove these i would separate these bolts these are a certain size for the actual let me see these are going to be the longer ones. So that's a tip. The longer 10 mils are for your coil packs. So then slightly raise, remove the first one. Um, I usually like putting everything in order. You do see a, a big problem with the type bars though is you do get some water going down into the coil packs, even if you have that top cover. That's where you get that little rust right here. But as you see, like it just it comes off. And that is that is weird because a lot of people on the East Coast- They have that problem, yeah. Yeah, like some uh, dude that I follow, shout out Flying Gato. He had those issues on his type bar and he they were actually causing misfires because yeah. the water was getting all and the way they, into They get there. damaged and then as you see, even here in California, this could just be like the days that we do get rain here. <laughs> <laughs> the three days. Yeah, the three days out of the year. But um, so yeah. be careful when you're taking these out. You can either know exactly what you're doing, like Lewis, or you can use those little uh, what are those? Those little metal picks, little pick tools to go ahead and, and yeah. remove them. That way you don't damage any of the, of the actual sockets themselves. Super ones are fun too. Oh well, yeah! Hey, by the way, give out your shout out. Project Subaru. Follow me on Project Subaru. No more Civic FC2. It's all about the Subaru now. Yeah, go ahead and shoot him a follow. He's putting together his Subaru WRX. He's been doing a... He had a nice little clean little build. He wanted to challenge himself and he sold the Civic. We lost another one, folks. And uh, he went with a Subaru WRX. He's going to slowly be building that one. And just follow him on his Instagram. I'll, I'll shout him out down below as well. This bad boy is literally ready to just... So how many 10s are there? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. So ten of these right here. Those bad boys. Right? Keep those separate. Yeah. So then now. Oh. oh my god. You know, so we're gonna go over here. You see where these little white marks are? This is where we're gonna wanna apply Honda Bond. So these areas is where we get leakage. So that's why we need to apply this area, this area, this area, and right here at the corners only right you don't need yeah, to put it on the gasket no. you don't need to do any of that so as you can see here so the, this area is going to basically cover the in between this uh, timing chain cover and the actual engine cylinder head and then same thing on this side so this is what you're putting on the bottom and then this is going to go in between the the cam cover which is this, is this little piece right here and this is going to cover all this area here we are going to need to clean this before we reinstall it wipe this down with alcohol and yeah, we're gonna do some prep. And that line, this line that you see here, is not Honda Bond, right? No, just to that just to just clarify. Of, uh... Yeah, just to clarify, to you guys, that is not Honda Bond. That is the actual gasket that's made. That I don't know what do you want to call it, little line. Yeah. But and as you can not see, Honda Bond. The torque oil has definitely kept this engine, this engine beautiful. Looking clean. Yeah, this car has only had torque oil put in it minus the first oil change and then that's shortly after is when i met lewis and he advised me if i'm going to be tracking this car to use torco and shameless plug again shout out to torco for making an awesome product but the boys here at vcd turned me on to this product and so far it has not disappointed testing. oh yeah we have tested torco's oil on here some like special stuff but yeah <laughs> We had some secret sauce put in here to help us out when we're on the track. And uh, some of you guys, if you guys use Torco, are benefiting from it. But Ooh, you know what's crazy? Uh, one of our other YouTube friends, TK, recently did a dyno video. His oh, that's French right. Type R got an additional eight horsepower just from switching oil. Yeah, no fun R. Look him up on Instagram so you believe us. And shout out to PK. Look at his YouTube channel. Um, now back to the Valkyrie real quick. So I removed this little plug right here. This is basically just gonna plug up in here. 
the 10 millimeter bolt is exactly like this, but this one is slightly shorter. Just remove it. We're going to insert into the next valve cover and then we should be almost good to go. Oh yeah. So uh, what are we doing here? I just torqued this to about nine pounds. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. I don't want to put too much pressure and then it cracks. Um, but this is just like the plug that we're talking about. We're just removing this side. So now. this is where I am going to move this over this side and then I'm going to go wash my hands. <laughs> All right, so this is the valve cover OEM one from Honda. Uh, if you buy it brand new from Spoon, they do include this exact same one, bag and everything. It's the exact same part number. And we also purchased some Honda Bond, which the boys here have, but I just always buy extra in case we need it. That's for the points that we were just talking about. Right now, Lewis is getting his blade all sharpened up so we can remove that excess Honda bond off of the valve cover. Make sure we have a nice clean surface. This thing is specifically made for aluminum so don't think that we're just using like any kind of, yeah. yeah, like like a freaking like putty, a painter, a painter, a painter. painter's putty knife or whatever. We're not just using any generic one. This is specifically made for aluminum so it doesn't damage the valve cover, I mean the head. We are also going to like he said prep it with alcohol after so we have a nice clean uh, adherence with the Honda bond and like we said we took the extra time to remove everything for that specific reason so we can get in there remove the Honda bond nice and cleanly and have a nice clean surface otherwise you'd have all this crap around you while you're trying to fit your hands in there again it's all in the prep work boys it might take long but trust the process that way you have extra elbow room. We are currently like what, 35 minutes in? Probably, yeah. So, like I said, experience will help you with time. For a normal everyday person, I would probably guesstimate you're already like an hour in, hour and 20, just prepping. And then this is the part where we're gonna take an additional five, 10 minutes to make sure the surfaces are clean, reapply the Honda bond, and then install the cover so see all that little bit of residue that's there we're gonna make sure we clean all those areas up to make sure that the new valve cover adheres nice and clean and perfect remember on this part right here there are two pieces here there's this portion right which is a timing chain cover and then there's the actual head so if you're using a tool don't start fucking <laughs> trying to like make everything even or if you see how he's clicking right there you stop right there you're not trying to push because you could actually then break the seal see how there's some excess honda bond running down right there you might even break that seal and then you're going to be in bigger trouble so again experience is key see how he took his time got it nice and clean and like i said see how there's honda bond on both those sides you just want to take your time don't push too hard because the last thing you need is to separate that you're not gonna put, you know, you're not gonna do this at the track, AKA, you know, some people that have done it at the track, but that's because it's been leaking. Let's clarify it, because it's been leaking, not because they're installing a valve cover on the fly. <laughs> yeah, we have had, uh... and you yeah, know, I'll, I'll, I'll plug you up, Jay. FC1J follow. <laughs> <laughs> Roasting him. You, you know, I said that because yeah, and he uh, he I know for sure that he's gonna be watching this video on the couch. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> hey, he's gonna text me. He's gonna be. He's, he's like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be like, jerk. What the hell? <laughs> right now, I'm just trying to clean up some of the excess oil that's from the cover. Uh, we're gonna go back and clean it with a new new surface, but I need to clean up this on the bottom on this side. But this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult to reach. So I just took that off real easy. Remember, this tool is meant to scrape aluminum. I keep saying it because I don't want you to go into your grandpa's or your dad's, you know, or even your own, uh, you know, toolbox or shed and be like, oh, hey, we use this to patch up the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and use this because you're going to run into issues and you're going to scratch it. And it's going to, like you said, cause maybe an imperfection. So you do put the valve cover on and you do adhere it or even worse when they you know this is metal it, it will flex a little bit and when you're out there riding and next thing you know you pop your hood and you got a leak going on it might have been from that 
and also right i mean am i mistaken you don't want any of this falling in the engine yeah i know so we did have a little piece back here that fell but i already picked it out just make sure you see what what goes in yeah because it could get stuck in between like a lobe or you know you don't want that anything in there and there your, uh, snack on. <laughs> cover <laughs> We already made a joke about it in the last video, and if you didn't see that, hey, go ahead and look at it. You see, he was trying to pick that little area out right here. And then he's gonna get the back. The back is difficult. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to... You're gonna wanna push outwards, right? Yeah. So instead of trying to work this way, you're gonna try and go this way. So whatever falls, at least it falls out of the head. You don't want it going in. And like you said, if it does go in, at least go and retrieve it. Just don't forget about it. So I like to use a little, you know, needle nose pliers, and then I start just, I just start to twist and twist and twist. And you see how it starts coming out? I'm gonna apply some in this area right here. So a general, boom. And then I'm gonna apply some going this way, down, 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 down. And we're gonna get a little bit in here. Same back here. some right to about here and then we're gonna do the same thing over here just gonna do a little bit right there just as reference I want to show you guys that the spoon valve cover is an actual OEM Honda part and you can see it right here yes, it's on there. yeah it's an actual OEM one and I'll pair it up with mine which it's right there that's the same exact part number and everything as the uh, as the one that just came off the car and now we're gonna watch Lewis lay the valve cover down and again remember this is why we took all the time to make sure that we had enough clearance for this exact move right here helps us out make sure we get a proper seal see how the Honda bond is sealing nice and clean right there and already this is looking hella nice all the little things we've taken advantage of by paint by getting the thermal coated uh, black heat shield hopefully PRL will come out with their thermal coated inlet pipe which will change and we're gonna send this sucker off to get what is it, thermal or thermite coated? What did you call it? I think it's like thermal, it's Cerakote. Okay, to get it coated black. So that way all this is black. And if at any point I could have ever gotten those black, I would have done that just to make sure that the whole engine bay looks black and displays this beautiful valve cover that Spoon has developed here for the FK8 platform. <laughs> and just slowly bring everything down because we're not gonna use the actual gun to torque anything. And remember what I was saying, he is taking his time because the Spoon Sport valve cover, like I told you, comes painted. See how they're painted? That comes painted like that when you buy it brand new. And if you over tighten, you can risk cracking the, I don't know if it's enamel paint or the heat treated paint. So you just kind of want to do it nice and slow. And then when you t uh, go ahead and torque it down, it will lock itself into place and everything should be 100%. It already happened to me. Did it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like barely even doing it. I mean, it's it's bound to happen. Oh yeah, I already see it. <laughs> Luckily, all that stuff's gonna be covered, so it's all good. But as you can tell, not even fucking putting any fucking pressure. <laughs> yeah, not even putting any pressure on it. It already cracked. Okay, what's the? So we're gonna be using thirteen. So we're doing thirteen pounds of torque here gonna put, we're gonna go I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and double check but because these are a little bit thicker in size we don't want to put too much pressure hey guys by the way i got the new iphone the 13 pro max i uh, am noticing a lot of differences between the 12 pro max and this one maybe you guys have been able to catch it see that right there it, the camera can focus in and out of what's up close and what's not with that cinematic 
I think it's cinematic. View. Yeah, cinematic view. But I also noticed that when I zoom in, it has a hard time adjusting until I physically adjust. And then when I zoom out, it stays zoomed in. You see that? Now, I'm just playing around with it. This is the first... These are the, actually the first two videos we film with this new camera. I do like the detail in it. But again, shoot your boy some love. Let me know what you guys think. Just take your time doing this. Make sure that you're applying equal pressure to everything and that you don't damage the paint, especially on these four here in the front. And there'll be a couple other ones that we're gonna sweat out too when we're putting all the wires back into place. And Lewis is doing kind of like a star pattern on them. So he's going that one first, then this one, then this one, then Definitely this one. Definitely the backs yeah. are like the word. I mean, as you can tell, the backs we're not really too worried about. It's just these guys right here. And I guarantee you 100% the moment we take it off, they're all going to crack. 100%. Because that's how it came. And no big deal. We know the price to pay. It's almost like you're slicing through the paint slowly, huh? Without it cracking. Oh, we had a little bit. We had a little bit. Look at it. We had a little bit. A little bit. But see, that, that's what you're going to see. See? Oh, yeah. We have a little slight crack right there, too. I just see it right there. See it? Yep. I mean, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Right at the last bit. Oh. Woo! <laughs> See this one. There's another one, too. Oh, yeah. Nice and slow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you see that shit? Yeah, mm. I saw it split. Ooh. Oh, nope. Yeah. She gone. Watch, I'll show you guys. Ooh. See? Yeah, no way. And this... Honestly, I'm showing you guys not to, um, what's it, downplay Spoon's product. Because even though you don't see it right now, you see how all of these are, are, uh, are night, uh, you know, they look like they're kind of cracking. Once the motor heats up and all that heats up, it, there's chances that it might split. You know, when we go to wipe it down, there's chances you're going to see it. Dude, the car just ate another one. This guy right there. But he was able to find it. And I'm telling you, this car loves to eat sockets and screws. The last time, just to give you guys a heads up, we lost a, a socket. It fell in here and it required me to take this off. And it was lodged in between like a charge pipe and the intercooler. Which we kept looking and looking for about 20 minutes. And then we finally, I happened to flash the flashlight and I saw the reflection. Otherwise damn thing is still there and also like the voice of reason said billy he said also he found a, a lego <laughs> in his uh, intercooler area god knows how that should happen all right so now the process that's taking place with everything is just to retrace your steps and go back i'm just gonna see if i time lapse lewis doing this so that way we can speed up the process and we'll jump back in when we're putting back the coil packs and all the extra little parts that go actually on the valve cover. All right, everyone, we pick up just about where we left off. Lewis has pretty much put all the wiring harnesses back into place. And now we are going to install the coil packs again. Like I said, you're not gonna see any of the paint chipping on these because there's a, a barrier in between. Now, when you go to remove them, you probably will have some type of breakage because everything's gonna be seated on there nice and tight. And on all these, do we have to tighten them up uh, with any type of pressure? No, I just do my job. So again, these are 10 mils. You're gonna use nine pounds of pressure. Uh, I'm sorry, nine pounds of torque, just to make sure that everything's nice and tight.
<laughs> that's that's what makes it official. <laughs> Remember, you took off a lot of clips, a lot of hoses. Just make sure you double check that everything is put in. Damn, Lewis has plugged it up with a little specialty right here. A little VCD specialty, look at that. Sheesh, Are these Honda ones? Honda Spec? Yes. <laughs> These are Honda Specs. Because remember, these bolts right here is where that red valve, uh, no, that red engine cover go. So now, uh, again, you don't have to put them on. But we wanted to for aesthetics. But for aesthetics, yeah, we wanted to make it look nice. Besides, they look nicer than just those, just the empty holes right there. Looks nicer, looks clean. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue doing a time lapse of the rest of the putting back together everything. All right, everyone, this is gonna conclude this installation here. We've already gone ahead and put the whole car back together. Everything's good to go. Look at that. This is amazing. I mean, kind of completes the engine bay with all the spoon little parts that we got going on. Just really is coming together here for the car. Really, really impressed with the way everything looks. I honestly didn't think it was gonna look that much better, but I mean, I've seen it in pictures and whatnot, but now actually seeing it up close, I, mean, I actually like how it looks. Gotta clean it up a little bit more, but everything looks great. Big, big shout out to the guys over here at VCD for hooking us up, getting us all plugged up and getting us ready to go with the car. And like I said, this isn't for the faint of heart. It's not that hard of an install. It's not that bad, but take your time prepping the car. Take your time making sure that you're allowing yourself the proper workspace to work on the car. Otherwise, you're gonna run into some issues that maybe you might scratch the valve cover, you might you know, break a line or rip something because you're trying to stuff it in there. And especially that step with the Honda Bond, you wanna make sure that you take your time doing that, that you clean and prep the area correctly because the last thing you need is separation from it. And again, thanks again for watching, guys. Everybody, Big, big shout out to Lewis here for the support and the help that they constantly help your boy out here and the Type R. Catch us out on the track. We are gonna hit the track scene pretty heavy this year. Keep following him, keep following me for all of the videos and all the recent installs that we're gonna do to this car. And again, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when we post, and I'll catch you guys out on the track.